I, I did nothing. I was there for all five minutes at the beginning, and then she did nine months of the war. So that's <laughs> that's how it went. Yeah. <laughs> Bravo. Yes. Dude, I will take my bow. Thank support. you. Yeah. <laughs> Bravo. I'm so happy you made it. All the that. dads got that to do all the hard work. We know it's all us. <laughs> Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. It's really hard to take naps sometimes. It's all hey, I'm man. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> you got to fall asleep in the easy chair, man. I mean, it's just, <laughs> what do you expect to do? Hello, everyone. Welcome to a very special, very fun episode, I hope, of Not Your Father's Movies. I'm Vito. I'm Mike. And I'm Jesse, and we are the Dad Fathers coming at you with some big crapping on the toilet energy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just uh, putting it right into that bowl Squishy. of uh, Milky Tide. <laughs> oh, my God. What the Wow. I was going to say, this is your first time on this, on this podcast. I'm telling you guys, you I'm, are in for something interesting today. It's a, my, my shits have been weird recently, okay? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. Holy crap. And, uh, and joining us today as uh, Letney is, is yeah, recurring guest Letney and one other very special guest who has also been on before. I'm David. Nice to meet you guys. <laughs> nice to see you. No, we were going to have a scatological uh, podcast today. So, David, how have your shits been lately? <laughs> well, you Please know. Please don't answer that. Please don't answer that. <laughs> okay, I'm taking it back over. Okay, so we got Letney here. Letney, it's been longest since you have been on our program. And when's the last episode you were on? Do you remember? I think it was the recap for the Not Your Grandfather's courtroom drama movies. So it's yeah. been like it's been five wild. months. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Why yeah. do we do that to our frequent collaborators? We're so sorry. Wow. And that yeah. was back when we did recaps. So I was, <laughs> I was happy that you joined us for our, our last one and our, our second one as well. That's right. That's right. <laughs> second and last. We never did it again. <laughs> it was so good that we decided we couldn't ever do it again. The numbers were just so, so low. We were like, no wonder. <laughs> but uh, also joining us, though, is David. And David here from SPCAC. Welcome again. Nice to see you. Thank you, guys. SPCAC standing for... Seriously Pointless Conversations About Culture. That's Very right. Nice. What, do you, what do you do on that show, just in case people haven't listened to our previous episode together, Hellboy 2, The Golden Army? Absolutely. So um, we hit everything nerd related. We do comic books, you know, films, anime, video games. We do a lot more anime and video games than anything, really. James is our weeb specialist, um, and I kind of do mostly video games, and I'll do anime films with my wife, actually, and whatever things that she's kind of like being pulled into because she kind of orbits my my nerd sphere. So. <laughs> And I believe the first episode that you guys put out is about just a little franchise known as Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah, that right? it was a little a little ambitious on my my part. I'm going to say that right now <laughs> to try to shove and do an hour, but hopefully we can do we can do it justice. I uh, it was funny that was the first episode I I thought about doing, and I was like, you know, that's a that'd be fun. We can do a whole franchise in one hour, and I'm got my <laughs> wife to sit down with me, and I'm just like, this was way too much. I was just like, that was, and on top of it, she was like, why are we? What is this podcast thing you speak of? What are we talking like on microphones? And it was. It was just yeah it was it was fun to watch her squirm in the water a little bit so yeah but it was it was a good time it was uh our our uh inaugural episode on our side but yeah we'll see how uh i think we're gonna do a little bit better over here i think yeah i, I think i think we'll give it a shot but i do have to say that it, for her being so new she is now quite a seasoned deckhand i think you guys just put out marvel's the avengers and she is That's she's quite ably speaks on that one Oh, absolutely. And it's funny because all that stuff is she hasn't even seen it before. And it's so much oh, wow. it's so much fun to watch somebody enter into that MCU with like a brand new, like kind of like a baby walking for the first time. You know, she gets to see it for the first time and she's enjoying it thoroughly. Like I got her hooked with WandaVision and she's she was smart. like, you know, what is, what is what is even going on here? And I'm just like, let me tell you a little thing about 
the MCU and now we're down a rabbit hole. So yeah, so it was, it's great. I actually got her all the way done. We've actually completed the MCU up to uh, Falcon and the winter soldier now. So yeah. Mm. Oh wow. Yeah. Holy she cow. had a, I mean, that's a lot. Yeah, yeah. She, well, she had a couple extra weeks off because of the pre- pregnancy before getting, you know, having the baby and everything like that, everything like that. And she has just been watching stuff on her own. And I'm just like, you know what? I'm not even mad. I'm I'm, I'm so proud cool. of you. I was just like, <laughs> let's talk about things. Let's sit down. I said, It'll be fun. And she's like, you're kind of being weird now. So <laughs> it's called being a fanboy, sweetheart. Sorry. So. I just watch the movies. Okay. Yeah. I just watch the movies. Well, speaking right. of watching the movies. So we've been covering exhaustively and probably at way too great of a length of time per movie, all the Pirates of the Caribbean films. And what we decided to is what we set out to do, which is to squish four and five into one episode because the prospect of speaking for more than an hour about each one individually is just, it it drains my life of enjoyment and it makes me like not want to do this show. So smash them together, say very few nice things and just a bunch of really mean things. If that's okay with everyone. To be fair, I mean, it's, you know, going on our scatological metaphors. If you have one pile of poop and you have another pile of poop and you put Mm. them together, you're going to have one giant pile of poop. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) That's correct. But but the real question is, what's the consistency of this poop? You know, it's... I kind of watery, I feel like. Uh, <laughs> um, very, very water-like, yeah. Yeah, oh. very watery. Very, uh, a little you know, stranger, but, maybe. A little stranger. You know, I, know. I, I hear they're pretty epic. In fact, so epic that <laughs> people die from them. But, you know, dead men tell no tales. So no one has yet lived to really good. describe it. There. I was uh, it trying really to work that out. I was like, man, I'm going to have this joke on point. And Jesse's like, no, 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 man. Step back. I got this. <laughs> The master of the redirect. All right, well, you cack handed deck apes, let's jump in. We're talking about Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides and Dead Men Tell No Tales. We usually at this point do exactly. We usually at this point do some sort of casting crew. I don't actually want to mention any of the casting crew because I feel like that would get us too into each of these movies. But Jesse, you did have someone from the cast that you wanted to shout out. I think we've already mentioned him before, but Kevin McNally. Guys, this guy is in all five of these movies. All five mm-hmm. of them. I, I feel like we need to shout this guy out because, like, we always talk about Johnny Depp. But here is a guy, and he's the only other one besides uh, Jeffrey Rush, right? Jeffrey Rush is also in all five, but he's right. in, like, number two for, like, three seconds. Three exactly. epic seconds. Um, <laughs> taking a bite of that apple. <laughs> <laughs> taking a bite. And and then you have Kevin McNally here. And where where would this plot be if not for him telling us at every step of the way, what is going on and what the lore of this place is. Like, this dude, he does a lot of heavy lifting in this story. So shout out to Kevin McNally for making the pirate story happen. You know, he's basically like like the Greek chorus. You yeah. know, he, he he is our Greek chorus. He's, he's the MVP. Like, absolutely. Yeah. These movies yeah. could not find their way across these tides <laughs> without Kevin McNally being like, so Jack! He's How did like, we get here again? Maybe he's he's <laughs> at, maybe this is actually the story of uh, Josh Me Gibbs. In fact, in his uh, his epic tale, he's the one man who comes and lives to tell it. That's right. He he's telling yeah. all of his little grandkids. They're like, yeah. Granddad, you're senile. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, you little brat, and get me another bottle of rum. It's just like you're like, whoa, this got really dark really quick. <laughs> Granddad has a drinking problem. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, going on from there, I did want to mention just a couple of what I think are fun production notes, because talking about On Stranger Tides, we've mentioned in a previous episode, but this is the most expensive made movie ever made still. According to an article from Forbes from July 22nd of 2014, this movie cost $410.6 million. It's insane. It's above any movie, every movie that you could think of that looked expensive yeah. and beautiful, it cost more than that. <laughs> Yeah. Everyone, you know what's interesting? They said they had to scale it back. Yeah, they they scaled it back on in on Stranger Tides. Mm-hmm. They, had, they had to make it more manageable. And yeah. just just to be frank here, I don't want to jump in too quickly, but I don't know where that money went <laughs> because I think on yeah. Stranger Tides maybe looks the worst of all of them. Yeah. Well, I did I did see that Johnny Depp got paid fifty five and a half million dollars for that role. 
Oh, I um, so, and I believe so that, that puts it now above the budget for Pirates of the Caribbean 2. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the budget for Pirates 4 yeah. on Stranger Tides was 379 million, something like that. It's but that's like a seventh of the budget cut just going to Depp. Yeah, yeah, it's it's nuts. But the movie, I mean, made 1.045 billion dollars. How is that possible? Yeah, I mean, like, how, <laughs> people, yeah. people love a franchise, man. I mean, they do it. You know, but, and and I guess people just love that. I I, I don't wouldn't call him sexy drunk pirate man. I guess that's exactly what he is. That's what he plays. But <laughs> ladies love that shit. I guess. I think I think he was sexy drunk pirate man for three movies, and then he was just drunk pirate man for the fourth one, and then the fifth one he's just drunk man. <laughs> <laughs> drunk man the whole time. It's just eventually he's just man at the very end, or just drunk, just drunk, yeah, just drunk. <laughs> not even yeah. man, just even man, just a walking <laughs> bottle of rum. <laughs> um, but then Pirates Five cost two hundred thirty million. You know, chump change for this franchise. Yeah, and walked away with seven hundred and ninety four million. So people are still like hungry. People still want pirates. These movies keep making a lot of money, and all of them make more money than the first one, which is amazing. Yeah, somebody we, wants it, not me. We got we got a six <laughs> and seven in the pipeline, honest. guys. Six <laughs> and seven in the pipeline. Just wait. I'm God so help me. I can't wait. You know, after these two movies, I just found myself thinking, I, I really, really hope they make another one of these. Maybe even two more. <laughs> is that what you thought, Mike? Is that what, is that really what you yeah. thought? <laughs> Tell me you're you're full of shit. <laughs> Because Mike plans you know, on leading you know, a, po a protest. Uh, it's going to be oh, organized. It's going to be all over the Facebook. Yeah, we'll, uh, I see. And, and it's Instagram. reverse. Okay, I got it, Mike. Yeah. Okay, you're good. You're good. I mean, how else am I going to make a protest if there's not a movie? Basically, is, is how it is. is you know, I, I, I have. Uh, you're gonna make... you're gonna donate your hard earned money to a Kickstarter to make the movie just so you can protest it. Just like, yeah. did you? Just... I hate it. <laughs> your wife's like, honey, did you refinance the house to give money to the Pirates Six? <laughs> yes, yes, I did. Yes, I did. It's 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 all in the plan. You it's see, yeah. It's a, you just know, starts you know, This protest will be so epic that years from now there will be a movie called Trial of the Chicago Dads. <laughs> <laughs> oh the Curse of the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise. Colon. My story. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would watch that. I'm just saying right now, I just got. I kind of talked myself into that one. I kind of like that. Please do that. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> you got it. You got it. Just for you, man. Just for you. So that's all. That's literally all that I had there. Maybe because I doubt that we have any nostalgia, quote unquote, for this. But maybe we want to talk first impressions, unless you got something else you want to talk about, Jesse? I guess I, well, maybe I do have a little bit of nostalgia for the fourth one. And I say that, like, because we just jumped into, like, who would want to watch that movie? And frankly, that was me. That was me when that came out in oh. whatever, 2012. Because, like, 2007, I, I had seen the disappointing at World's End. And I was like, you know, what if what if this whole thing could be steered a different direction? Oh. I would love, I would love to see that. I, and I miss Johnny Depp, right? I, I miss the Jack Sparrow being Jack Sparrow. And here's a movie all about that. I want to see that. And when I saw it in theaters, I, I saw Johnny Depp being Johnny Depp. And that, that part was fun to see him back in action after a hiatus of like five years, half a decade. Yep. And then uh, then I hadn't watched it again till the fateful day of last week when I revisited it. And uh, it was, um, <laughs> wow. There, there are a few words to describe how much this movie just takes dumps over everything that I've ever loved. Um, <laughs> and uh the same same with the fifth and that that's it that's all i gotta say <laughs> uh, well, let well, me Lenny, what, you're, you're sitting there with yeah, jesse yeah so uh my preparation for this podcast i grew up with the trilogy and then i, I think i watched four once when it came out but it's been i never saw five and it's been years since i saw any of them so in preparation for this podcast i started with four and it was so bad that it made me go back and rethink, were all these movies terrible? <laughs> so, so I went from four directly to one, and that restored my hope okay. in the series. Good. Um, Good. So, yeah. But did you see number four in theaters? I honestly can't remember. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. It's, it's, it's pretty forgettable. Completely forgettable. Yeah. 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 So I was actually somewhat 
like excited to rewatch it because I had forgotten about most of it. I was like, I remember there's a mermaid hating that, but then like Jack Sparrow's in it. It can't be that bad. Uh, oh no, it's it's bad. Yeah. yeah. What, what what about five? What are your feelings on five, Letney? So I don't know where everyone's rankings are, but I think the series gets progressively worse with each movie. I think five is absolutely the worst in the series. Interesting. Ooh, interesting. Interesting. We might have some pushback. Hot We're- take. Ooh. Hot <laughs> dump. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Some jokes just yeah, they had they're there. So yeah, that is a hot, <laughs> steamy, milky. <laughs> This is gonna have expletive, uh, like, uh, like explicit <laughs> content, like, like just straight up, Mark. Just <laughs> it, it has, it has a dump warning for sure. Dump, dump warning. Dump yeah. warning. Yeah. If you're uh, easily offended by there. poop jokes, <laughs> there it is. And you've gotten this far. What's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, really. So what I've noticed actually is like listening back to some of our other pirates episodes. This is the franchise where we like really let it go, guys. <laughs> I don't know if this is like a signal for times to come that we should continue like being this lax and or or if we need to tighten up. But I'm actually enjoying the creative freedom. I hope people come I, on the on the journey with us. You would say that this franchise is a laxative for us. <laughs> oh my! So. <laughs> Free and easy, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so, so David, many bad speaking images. about speaking about seriously pointless conversations, and since we're talking about pirates four and five, there's no culture here at all. What were your first impressions of these four and five? So it's, it's kind of sad to say that the, I was kind of in the same boat. I had watched four when it had come out. I didn't go to theaters to see it. My wife had actually she liked the first three, so she was like, "Hey, you know, you know, let's pick this up. You know, check it, check it out." And it turned me off of the series so hard that I re- have refused to watch the fifth one <laughs> since <laughs> until whatever we reviewed it for on our, our our podcast. And I was just like, I actually paid like money. F- this is before Disney Plus came out. And I was like, I actually paid money to like own it on Amazon Prime. And I'm just like, I can't believe I paid good, hard earned money to, to watch this <laughs> pile of crap, basically. <laughs> Yeah, and that's my my first impressions are like you know like uh, like Letney was saying it's just they just go after that third film, it just it just tanks hard, man. I don't know why anybody would want to like go see see these movies. You know, there's so many. Like, the first three were so phenomenal, and then this happened. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah it's just awful. I guess yeah. I should also add that after seeing Pirates Four in theaters, I had like no. No desire to see Pirates 5. It wasn't until yeah. a, a couple days ago that I finally watched it. I, I had the courage because That's this right. podcast forced me to. It wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't until last week that I knew it existed. <laughs> no, they made a fifth one? Why? <laughs> I've been How? hearing that a whole lot. Telling yeah. people we're going to do this podcast and they're like, there's a fifth one? Really? Yeah. I think we might have actually been doing something wrong here because now if if people do enjoy listening to us talk about movies that they haven't seen and they watch those movies in preparation to hear us talk, are we adversely giving way more money to Disney? Oh my god! By encouraging people to watch these, not oh if they god. already have Disney. Plus. If that's okay. the case, you should request a percentage of the royalties from Disney. I'm just saying, guys, <laughs> just like hey, we've advertised your films that are really crappy. Yeah. Little change our way, guys. Come on. And they're just exactly. gonna be like, no. They're just gonna like just give you the middle finger Who or Mickey Mouse. <laughs> we used to you see those commercials like you wouldn't tell our pirate a car. You wouldn't steal a yeah. car. You yeah. wouldn't steal your grandma's like change purse. It's just like, <laughs> but would you steal a movie? And I'm like, who does this? Who goes up with this crap? Everyone's love- like, you're it's correct. I would not steal from my grandma. I would not steal a car. I would steal a movie. Oh, for sure. I, I you, definitely you're a multi-billion yeah. dollar businesses i would totally steal from you <laughs> yeah. like, Take, these pens are mine plus <laughs> pirates deserve to be pirated so pirate them and yeah, that's and that's fine that's what they say exactly. that's what these movies are all about freedom pirates although, of the although i, I do i do have movie. to say i i want to make make it clear we are not in any way saying that you should go and do anything illegal in any way in true dad fashion we're speaking just, physically just, we're, we're, this is a joke <laughs> this is a bit i think <laughs> yes yeah yes. just to be clear indeed i want to put that out there pay your taxes <laughs> <laughs> what are your what are your first impressions of this movie Vito? so or these I, movies i did not see either of them in theaters i was given pirates 4 on standard definition dvd by my father 
when mm. I was going away to college because uh-huh. he said, you like these movies. And I was like, yeah, not this one. Um, <laughs> I did watch it and I hated it. And five, I was interested to see what five was going to look like because of the Javier Bardem and because of the new ship and because of the blah and the blue. So I actually see that movie at home, not on the big screen. I also didn't like it. And I that's that's kind of what it is. Like, I don't think that five, just my personal opinion, like four, I think is abysmal. I, I can find almost nothing positive whatsoever to say about four. And I can find, I think, three nice things to say about five, yeah. which is is a very low bar, but I just put it marginally higher than that. But we'll, we'll talk. What do, what do you think, Mike? I feel like you probably share this. I, uh, I had never seen these movies. Um, I, I remember when I, I heard they were making Pirates of the Caribbean four and I said, why? And I chose, I said, I will not see that movie ever. I've broken that vow. Um, <laughs> I've seen it you, now. <laughs> you, you break a lot of vows. If you notice. Like, you're like, screw the MCU, screw the pirates movies. And you're just like, I love this shit. Now. You're, like, you're trying to main vein that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, just, sorry. Just, just, just this one. I watched these movies over the last week, and yeah, I mean, it for it was pos- possibly the worst movie I've ever seen. Yeah, I think it might be the worst movie ever made. Um, if I hadn't had seen Mortal Kombat Annihilation in preparation for a show I did with the Comic Sauce, yeah, I would agree and say that is the worst movie. But now it's like the second worst movie. Okay, it's the worst movie that I have ever seen. We're gonna watch Mortal Kombat Annihilation no, right after this. No, we're, we're absolutely not. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. No, we're here to talk about dad movies, not not poop oh. movies. Not not poop movies, but here we are. Uh, would you show these to <laughs> your we? kids, Mike? Are we? No, no, of course not. No, who would show these to anybody? I know. Like, why? Yeah, but like, it's hey, part of a you dad have a franchise. horrible time for for five hours straight. Like, let's watch Pirates of the Caribbean four and five. No, I'm not going to no. do that. What a, that's horrible. No, my my wife actively questioned how I'm spending my time. Yeah, same here, man. Yeah, yeah, same yeah. Here. Actually, same thing. There was like this is there was a serious discussion <laughs> about what free time means and how it should be used. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's <laughs> weird. We that's had that weird. conversation too. It Are was our about... wives talking to each other. <laughs> there must be a threat. <laughs> They're all like talking. Like, you know what Vito's this did? I'm like, like they're talking. They're just like, you know, that's what they do. That's yeah. Anyways. Oh, I I know. And that's wow. I can't believe you haven't even met her, but that's what she sounds like. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm gonna slip from this conversation very slowly. <laughs> I am I am gonna jump in very quickly in defense of my wife, who did sit and watch Pirates Four with me. Zipper. Uh, she said that it was unrestrained capitalism. And I was like, that's a good review. <laughs> yeah. She wrote, Ooh, she wrote in my notes after I fell asleep because this movie is so boring, <laughs> quote, a real piece of shit, end quote. And she cites Roger Ebert. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's my favorite now. <laughs> she, she did not watch Pirates 5 with me because I, I knew that she would. And I was like, no, I'm going to fall on this sword all by my lonesome. And I had watched it over the course of five separate viewings. To try and get through it whenever I just had like 20 minutes. I was like, all right, fine, 20 minutes. It's it's on. Okay, we'll do oh that. Um, but I also, I also am never going to show these to my children. And if I see them watching it, we will also have a discussion about what free time is and how little time we have on this earth. <laughs> uh, how, how about you, David? Are you going to, are you going to sit your, your new one down and be like, with me, you will see. No, negative Ghost Rider. Um, I will probably, uh, if she decides that in you know a few years time she thinks that I like pirates, oh, I'm gonna point her towards the Pirates of Penzance, oh, yeah. which is a much much better f- amount of time, you know, use of her free time at this point. Yeah, but I would never, you know, deliberately put this on for my children. I hate to say that. <laughs> so. Jesse, yeah. Jesse, your 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 little ones. Are you are you you just can't wait to show them? Unveil the majesty of Paul McCartney's cameo in Pirates Five. See, so I, Paul McCartney. So I, I'm gonna interject here real quick. I had to I had to explain to my wife who that was, and I'm like, do you know who that is? And she's like, who is that? I was like, that's he's it's Paul McCartney. And she's like, no freaking way. <laughs> and I was just like, yes, freaking way. That's that's how bad this movie is. Is like it just sounded horrible. Anyway, sorry, Jesse, go ahead. Wow, I actually didn't know that until you mentioned it. I was I. I guess I meant to look that up before the pod about who that who Uncle Jack was. Yeah. Oh, what a what a terrible cameo! That was yeah. that was awful. Because uh, isn't Keith, his, Keith Richards isn't is unavailable? Yeah, because I was gonna say I was gonna say isn't Keith Richards? I was gonna say isn't Keith Richards' dad? That's what I yeah. thought. 
Yeah. yeah, and he wanted to be in this, and he couldn't. And so Johnny Depp took it upon himself to get Sir Paul McCartney to come and tell a, a joke. Because, you know, it's probably a super cheap cameo. So. <laughs> exactly. It'll well, only cost you an additional $4 million. Just do it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I even say something about Penny Lane in there. Blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably what he... Uh, I don't know. But right. <laughs> We're talking right now about when we would show this story kids, and yet the answer is definitely never. Like, if <laughs> if they actually had it on, I might say, could we please put on anything else besides Mortal Kombat Annihilation? Because apparently that's on par. <laughs> uh, yes. But just anything. Could we watch Muppets Treasure Island? I think that would be a much better use of our time, even though we've all seen that 50 times already in this household. Jesse, uh, I have a question for you. Would you rather... Watch Pirates 4 with your children or yeah. Frozen with your children. Ooh. It's Frozen. <laughs> <There> it <is. laughs> oh, dang it. For real? Come on. Hey ho, we'll go. Come on. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, I can't. Oh, this move is so She's terrible. She's getting PTSD, guys. <laughs> it's so bad. Like, you know. I've watched Frozen enough with my kids where it's just like, I know all the beats. It's comfortable. It's familiar. Even though I don't really like it, it's like it's like a warm slice of childhood kid loveliness for me. Oh, it's like nap this, time. Yeah, and, and absolutely nap time. All right, great. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> uh, it has but, nothing to do with Jesse putting like a little bit of liquor in their bottles. Nothing about that at all. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, not true. Only Wednesdays. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I would take Frozen. Um, Letney, are you going to show this to your kids? No, absolutely not. I mean, I'm a completionist, generally speaking, but there are limits to completionism. That's wait, right. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah. We haven't ha had you on for the first three. Are you going to show the first three to your kids? Yeah, yeah. I think um, I think the main distinction for me is I think the first one is amazing, and I think while the second and three aren't great, I think they're rewatchable, and I have no interest in ever rewatching four and five. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, yeah you don't okay. want to put that on anybody else either. Yeah. That's like a that it's is a curse. The, that, that's a curse, and there's no Poseidon's trident to break, so it's forever stuck yeah. in our brains. Exactly. I yeah. actually forgot that was like a plot point. <laughs> that, that was the plot point. Uh, it was, that was That's the, the plot. I, I, don't, I, I don't. I forgot. I keep sitting here like trying to remember the plot of four, and like I start like remembering it, and then it slips away. Like these movies just are are worthless. Mermaids They're so worthless. So I yeah, I keep forgetting yeah. about the mermaids. Mermaids. Only thing mermaids. I remember about four is Penelope Cruz is in it. That's all I remember. My wife was like, yeah. "You know, she was pregnant during that movie," and I'm like, "Cool." That's all I know. About. <laughs> Great. Good good for her that she uh, was running and jumping and cursing in Spanish. That's right. And yeah. she uh, she danced. She yeah, she definitely definitely calls somebody a pendejo in that movie. Yep. So oh, yeah. that's, for like, sure that's great. Right. I, I I believe actually I wrote down in my notes when that scene happened, all Mexican women scream Spanish when mad was the note that I wrote down for yeah, that, that particular I scene. That. I mean, because God forbid they speak English, but whatever, you know. I know. Or any I other know, language whatsoever. My, my Mexican sure. mother would never, in fact, do this. She would just curse in um, English. Uh, yeah, because because then you can understand a little better. It's like, and everyone, do, oh, oh, she's really pissed at him. Oh, oh. <laughs> or better yet, she'd throw a chunk at you, probably, Vito. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got yeah. I got plenty of things thrown at me. Yeah. yeah. Coco, <laughs> See? Coco all over. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what we have now is a new segment that we've yeah. been testing out. And I want to know if you guys are ready for Wait, this. Wait, I, I just want to be clear. We have a unanimous, this is not... A move like this isn't a movie that any of us would show to anybody. No, no, ever. <clears throat> no, it's unanimous. Absolutely. Two movies. Two. Two. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing. Not it's a hard decision. It's four and a half <laughs> okay. hours. So I'll I'll no. put the I'll put the caveat on there. I would only show this to somebody if two things. One, I was a interrogator <laughs> for the country of North Korea, mm. Mm. and nice. two. If I, they were like, you have to watch these two movies to get half a billion dollars. The only two, those are the only okay. two, yeah. only two, only two. Fair. So, I would, fair. I would watch both movies and I would sing their praises if I could have the production budget for Pirates Four. Yes. <laughs> In <Okay>. exchange. <laughs> <Exactly. Yeah. laughs> I, okay. Fair. fair, fair. Uh, but our new segment here is is pitch it. All right. So we have a movie we all hate. 
<laughs> and this is actually going to lead into another segment too. We have to try and pitch this to our kids. Like we have to okay, try to crap. get them to watch it. So I we think have that's to lie. the point of the pitch. We have to lie. We don't want our kids to watch it. So we're lying, not just to them, but to ourselves. Indeed. It's called pitching, Jesse. It's a sales meeting. <laughs> yeah. It's also called being a dad. <laughs> You're like, yeah, your broccoli tastes great. Eat the broccoli. It's phenomenal. <laughs> you like cauliflower? You I know what? It. You trust me. You don't want that chocolate cake. The co- chocolate cake's not good for you, little man. Like, eat this first. You know, it's just like when you're an adult, you have to eat your vegetables before you eat the dessert. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was told that, that every day. And then when I was 18, I was like, lies, no lies, veggies. And then I lost my teeth. I was like, no, back to veggies. We're doing veggies back to, again. Back to veggies. <laughs> That's right. Food pyramid, kids. Remember it. <laughs> Should we do the re- like a reverse pitch, like talk our children down from wanting to watch these movies? I, I don't know. I, I, I think because like it goes against everything in my soul to try. To that do. is that's actually why that's actually kind of why I want to try it because okay. the next segment after this, guys, is is there anything that you like in either of these? I feel like in in the cesspool that we got going here, we need to have just a little bit of that positivity because what we okay. usually do okay. in all of our episodes is we do find the stuff that we like, and there's very little here, but there's enough. <sighs> Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm in. I'm in. Can, can we do it, I'm Jesse? In to pitch it. We can do it. We can do it. Yeah. I see you digging deep. I have dig to forward. dig really deep for this. <laughs> so I was really waiting for him to like reach down and put it low him and like pull up a big old bottle, like just alcohol and take a swig. <laughs> be like, I'm good. Let's go. It's, it's just Everclear. <laughs> it's just wow. Okay. Who, who's going <laughs> first? Vito, are you going I'll go, first? I'll go first. I'll go first. Pitch it. Okay. This is my pitch. So. You know your favorite character from the first three movies. Jack Sparrow. Funny, drunk, handsome, cavalier. And you remember the wet blankets that surrounded him in the cast? You know, like the Swans and the Turners. Those that had arcs, change, motion, plot. No. Jack. What we need is more Jack. As much Jack as possible. Jack me up. Jack this movie up. Just Jack. Jack, Jack, Jack. And when he can't get on set because he's too drunk to stand, you know what we're going to do? We're just going to CGI him walking. We're going to get stunt guys that'll walk down halls for him. He just has to be there for the close-ups and the inserts. Then he can go to his trailer and we'll build a movie around him. Guess what, guys? It'll make so much money. Okay? Okay? That's how it'll work. More Jack. Let's do it. Who are you pitching here? Everyone. I was Everyone. Just <laughs> yeah. The message I got from that is this movie is jacked to the tits. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm either thinking you're talking, trying to talk to a uh, a Jack Daniels enthusiast club or some like horny old guys. I'm just saying that's the two ways I went with it. And I'm just like, that's a lot of dirty stuff I could go to all out of here. But anyways, go ahead. Sorry. More Jack curses monsters. More Jack. That's my got pitch. it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh wait, yeah. no, the fifth one though. You have to give two oh, pitches. No. Is is it the same pitch for both? No, okay. Second pitch. Okay. So we had a lot of Jack in the last one. <laughs> Maybe so much, too much Jack. So much jacking. So much Jack. <laughs> we're, we're gonna reel the Jack back, reel him back in a little bit. <laughs> reel back the Jack. What we need to do is introduce a new Will and a new uh, Elizabeth Swan because apparently people like that. So we need new characters here. We're gonna get these characters, they're young, they're bright. They're very English, very sharp faces. They will scream loud lines that remind us of who they're supposed to be in these movies, but who they're not. We're going to try and hand this franchise over to them because honestly, Jeffrey Rush, he's he's looking a little old. I don't know if he's going to be able to stand. <laughs> so it, it's foolproof, though. Hand it over. New curse, new pirate. Boom. A little bit less Jack. A little less Jack. Right. That's yeah. my pitch. Yeah. A lot, lot less enthusiasm for this one than the more Jack. I'm yeah. going to do the more Jack for the Pirate <laughs> 6. More Jack. You are all about the Jack. <laughs> all, right, all right. I'm going to pitch it. I'm going to okay. pitch it. Okay. So you I'm, I'm not going to watch those movies. Okay. By the way, you didn't get me. I don't know if you got anybody You else, can't. But, you're but too but stubborn I'm, I'm to be convinced anymore. No, no, no. No, I can be convinced. No, I love being convinced. We have a lot of podcasts that show the opposite. <laughs> you know, well, you know how at the end of... Pirates of the Caribbean 3, that crazy off-the-chain Gore Verbinski movie that made no sense but was a ton of fun. Mm. We learn about the existence of the water of life, kids. Mm. Wouldn't you like to see what happens? That's it. That's the pitch. 
That's Ugh. the pitch. That's all you got to do to get someone to see it. That's the pitch they gave us. Jack searching for the for the water of life. Is he going to live forever? I mean, Pirates yeah. Five. I guess you're right because that did get me to watch it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm just trying to get people to watch it. I feel okay, like you're cheating of a by using someone else's pitch. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> but Mike, but Mike, I did That's not watch the fifth one. I did not watch the fifth okay. one. How would you pitch that to me? Okay. <laughs> to me. So wait, have you have That's you seen the fourth one yet in this scenario? I've seen it. Okay. All right. So Pirates for it. We thought it was going to be a good time, but it didn't go so well, right? I mean, it seemed like it, this was definitely, you know, a, a total a, a total capitalist ploy to take your money and mine and, and everybody else's. But Disney Disney's learning that that they need to make good things again, you know, stuff like good stories. And so, because of that, what do you think the most interesting story is? Well, it's a story that's captivated our hearts and minds since the very beginning of Pirates of the Caribbean generational stories fathers and sons fathers and daughters how they affect one another and how they're going to impact each other yeah javier bardem as a ghost pirate i i'm a little bored okay okay so pirates four on stranger tides we all know what we like about pirates of the caribbean we like jack we like Jack Sparrow being Jack Sparrow, manipulating people around him to do his grandmaster plans. This is a movie about Jack being Jack and Barbosa wanting to attack <laughs> <laughs> it. This is really oh, guys, No, I can't do it. This movie sucks. This movie sucks. <laughs> I, I could have said something about how this is just about like Jack Sparrow meets Indiana Jones, but that's just not true because it just sucks. Any Any good things i can say about this movie it's just wrong it's just not there but for number five you know how jack is the center of the screen in the fourth one and that didn't work out what they learned from their mistakes he's there <laughs> no what no this movie sucks too i can't do it <laughs> oh, jesse's man. too true to himself i can't let near or, no or, let near david can you lie can you lie with the best oh. of them I got a really simple pitch. So here's my okay, pitch for, for four. They spent more money on this movie than any other movie in the series. So it's got to be ever. good. It's, the, it's not money. the most expensive movie of all time. Ah, how could that be bad? At the very least, it's going to be visually amazing. Right? So... Oh, yeah. Oh, you know, that's, that's a good pitch. So that's my pitch for four. My pitch okay. for five is... I think the best part about the Pirates movies is the villains, arguably. So, you know, we had that great character in Barbosa in the first one, and then we had Davy Jones and I guess the two movies. And we didn't have a clear villain in number four, but now we're getting Javier Bardem, and it's going to be awesome. And that's yep. my pitch. That's yeah. pitch? Okay. I, I, I could do with that. All right, guys. Um, so this is for four. All right. So... It's going to be Johnny Depp is needs more money. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so the pitch is I need to buy a town in France. So I need I need 50 million dollars. Make me a movie. There you go. That's the pitch for four. Um, and uh, the pitch for five is all right, guys, I want more money. But I don't want to do these movies anymore. <laughs> so you're going to get new people in here, and they're going to start the new franchise, but I still want a ton of money. <laughs> there you go. Oh, there it is. There you go. I think we ran the gamut. You know, I got an alternate pitch. One alternate pitch. Okay. All right. Well, you know okay. how Johnny Depp was a really good actor, and now he is has no Something. money and no life, and he's a Poor miserable bastard. human being? Yeah. How great would it be to watch that occur over the course of five movies yep about a I pirate mean, essentially you're just talking about the plot points of blow at that point so <laughs> that's true <laughs> that is true oh wow 
Yeah. yeah, good job. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. We just, so in that one, you get to do it in like a nice, crisp, clean, entertaining two hours. Or you can take the alternate route where you watch over 10 hours <laughs> of pirate movies. I would prefer Amazing. to just be cattle prodded for hours as opposed to doing that. So <laughs> cattle prodded for hours. That sounds great. Well, at the risk of cattle prodding everyone else in this podcast, I would like to ask if anyone can think of one thing that they liked in Pirates 4. I cannot go first because I actually can't think of one thing I liked in Pirates 4. To the point where on, on my letterbox review, I had to do a half star so that a star rating would show up. And so I did a half star. But that's that's not for any reason at all. Like, it's because it exists that it gets a half yeah. star. That's it. That's all. I, I can't think of one. Can someone think of one thing? Uh, I I always enjoy Jack Sparrow like on screen being Jack Sparrow, even though he's a very bad kind of a husk of himself in four. Oh yeah. That to me immediately gets like a star rating. Except in five, yeah. which we'll get to. Oh. Okay. <laughs> That's well, it. How, how, That's all I got. What do you think, Lenny? You got one nice thing to say? One of the things I really enjoy about Barbosa and all the movies is his just over the top, completely unnecessary verbosity like the way he speaks is just it's fun it's entertaining and i think that the banter that he and jack have in all the movies is fun it's probably the weakest in this movie but i i have fun with that you know i like that interaction so yeah just for that i, I think that it's not worth watching the movie but <laughs> the way two characters talk sometimes in the worst way possible is the best <laughs> part of this movie <laughs> That was a very backhanded compliment. I like it. <laughs> David or Mike, wh which one of you has something nice to say? Dude, I'm still, I'm racking my brain, man. I'm trying. I, uh, <laughs> you know, I have the, uh, I, I mean, I've got nothing. I have nothing nice to say about this movie. The only thing that I'm thinking about right now is the prophecy, which is. What's like, that again? The prophecy is that. There's a prophecy? Is that Blackbeard will be killed by a one-legged man soon the yeah, prophecy okay. is given by his zombie first mate yes oh is it which is like i didn't yeah it's for like some, the worst prophecy for some fucking I've ever reason heard. yeah it, yeah yeah i don't know why zombie a zombie has fortune telling abilities i'm like that's usually not how zombies work but i'm like hey you know what do your thing guys <laughs> it just doesn't make sense to me i, I don't know i actually I, don't I even know why they're by, there I, well i I was impressed by that prophecy because it is the most slacker version of writing that I have ever seen. Mm. And so I was impressed by the fact that somehow that was allowed. Yeah. Like, like somehow they're like, yeah, sure. So, so that was the only thing that in any way impressed me. Oh, I thought of one nice thing. Yeah. I like Blackbeard's sword. That's a cool sword. It is a cool sword. It's super yeah. big. Yeah. It's like twice as wide as you need it to be. It's a lot wide. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's like that, but then it's like uh, that. It's pretty short. It's pretty short, though. It's like, I don't know. It's really Vita, strange. would you like to have a sword that big? <laughs> <laughs> I would. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yes. There it is. Anything, Do you anything, have one for me? I would like that. Negative Ghost Rider. My short. No, I'm not going to talk about my sword. But anyways, let's Any, go anything, on. Thank you. Anything else that anyone finds anything about Ian McShane movie? is a really good actor. Yes. Not in this movie, but he's a really good actor in general in his life. So when you see him, you're like, hey! That's and then it goes actor. down from there. Okay, actually, I can think of one thing. I, I actually laughed, and I was supposed to laugh at one scene in four. And that's when Jack okay. is sitting around with all pirates about a mutiny, and then they <laughs> he tries to convince them that Blackbeard isn't actually on the ship. I laughed a little okay. bit at that. Yeah. Eh, that was it. You're Classic right. Jack. You're right. I also laughed a little bit at that. <laughs> it was more of a pity laugh than anything. It was like, oh, they're really trying right now. It's like in, in some in some episodes of some TV shows like Big Bang Theory where you really do need the laugh track because it helps you. Like, yeah. Oh, that was a joke. Yeah. Oh, that's a joke. Good. Good. And you sometimes like You're laugh yep. to like be a part of things. You just want to be included. <laughs> yeah. Just... You don't want to be left behind. <laughs> and then I, all I, I can picture is all I can picture is Mike at home watching this by himself and he's laughing to like, wasn't that funny, guys? And he's like slapping the catch <laughs> <when he's there. laughs> Or it's like Macaulay Culkin at home alone. He's got cardboard cutouts of Michael Jordan sitting next to him or something like that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not saying it is true, but I'm also not saying it isn't, okay? I have a cardboard cutout of you that I watch things with. <laughs> he also does other things with it, but that's a whole other story. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> I don't even know how to respond to this. You don't have to. It's Let's okay. keep moving. So yeah, five. Yeah, I, got, things, I, got a, yeah. I got a couple nice things. I like I like Javier Bardem here. Yeah. He's a good actor and he's doing some good things here. Uh, surprisingly doing a lot better job when he is in full creature makeup than when he's not. That's fun, I guess. I like the ship. The evil guy's ship. It's a cool ship. It looks like, like it looks like a oh, creature. Yeah. That's yeah. a cool thing. I like the design of some of the evil crew. I like the guy who's just a, an arm and a hat. Yeah. That guy's funny. <laughs> yeah. I actually laughed at that. I was like, ha ha hat. <laughs> yeah. Just like passes that arm through him. And I thought the action at least looked interesting. Like the first three movies are so visually distinctive. Yeah. And then the fourth one looks looks very bland, very, very generic. Everything looks like it's tied to really bad sets. And the CGI seems really lazy. But then with this one, the CGI looked really good. And I thought that the lighting was really nice. And when there was action, I could see what was going on. And it really made sense to me. And uh, yeah, that's that's the praise I have for it. I didn't like it, but I thought it was... I've seen many worse things than that. Yeah. What what, what do you think, Mike? Yeah, no, I, I, I liked it significantly more than 4. Because 4, I thought, was just a pile of garbage. And this, I was like, this is a slightly less foul-smelling pile of garbage. But... Like you, I, I really like Javier Bardem. I like the quest, sort of. Like, I halfway like it. When it reveals that it's from, like, the Galileo Galilei book. I, if, if you remember this, like, this is very forgettable. I laughed. I was like, what is this, national treasure? <laughs> I, I high-fived myself. So. <laughs> See? Hypothesis? My, wife is, my wife is, like, like in her room, like, you're not as funny as you think you are, Mike. Wow. But, you know, wow, you're she like, went out of her way to sink that. You're sitting there rubbing your back. You're like, you're funny, Mike. Yeah. You're a funny guy. It's yeah. okay. I laughed. I laughed when I saw the letterbox review. Yeah. I was like, I was like, ah, yeah. Mike, up to his old Mike things. And like this movie is just, it, how many times do they play the, uh, the theme in both of these movies to make me feel like, oh yeah, it's a pirate's movie. Yep. Remember you like these. Yep. But, uh, you know, at the end, I, I thought that the final scene when they're, down with the poseidon thing trident and like they break it like but but when they're trying to get back onto the ship um i thought that that was cool like it was a cool scene in general oh, like kind oh, of and cool, the, the anchor cool chain is the anchor chain and yeah. then barbo like we've had this reveal that's like suddenly at the end they've made this whole thing and it's not done well in any way it could have been done well which makes it more frustrating to me yeah but um but i'm sorry uh, i just want to leap in here and say that the main lead girl is actually Barbosa's daughter. I don't give a shit about spoilers. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Cruel. I hope I ruined the movie. <laughs> don't again, don't watch this movie if you haven't seen it. But like the way Barbosa gets an end. He gets a conclusion. Yeah. Um he he has been the pirate well, who has he, he gets a you know, second like, ending. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's right. That's right. He, everything that he's done has been for himself. He is sort of like put up against Johnny Depp's uh, Jack Sparrow in a way because he's just all about treasure and whatever and getting what's his. But he sacrifices himself, jumping down and killing Javi Javier Bardem mm -hmm. to save his daughter, which like actually sent chills up and down my spine because it was it was cool. It was a cool moment. I've got daughters, man. Like I felt like it was engineered to make me feel that way. And it worked. And that's that's probably the nice the nicest thing I can say about this movie uh, is that yeah. it actually had one moment that really worked. That's a very nice thing to say about it. Yeah, I, I got to say that most things did not work for me in this movie. I really like including that moment for me. Really, <laughs> including <laughs> that. I, most of the movie, I'm literally rolling my eyes and sighing as I'm watching it. But like some things that worked, okay, uh, I enjoyed that. Jack Sparrow has gotten back to his role of kind of like a, a side character and not the main center of attention. And I like the fact that they're in uh, gritty towns again. I, I think we lost that a little bit in three. Like we had that a lot in one. What I remember, you know, you're in the gritty ton, town ton or they're in the cave. Stuff. Yeah. And I, I enjoy the pirate colonialist era uh, time. Like it's cool. I enjoy it. Everything felt feels real and, and not, so outlandish that it takes me out of it. And I, I enjoy that sort of stuff. So I, I like the setting. And then also I, I really like Javier Bardem in this. 
yeah, I like his grossness. He's very gross. He's always like breathing or like bleeding from his mouth, but in a way that's like it's like I, the worst acid reflux anyone could ever have. <laughs> it, it's pretty bad. <laughs> but I, it makes me uh yeah, I, I'm actively like kind of grossed out by him, and then the way he's playing it is like uh very unhinged. Like he's actively crazy. Like when he finds out like Jack Sparrow is uh is dead. He says, no, <laughs> because he's been thinking about this for years and just like is so set on his revenge. I, I like Javier's story of, or it's not Javier. What's his name? Salazar. 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 That's also yeah. a cool name. And hunting down Sparrow. I, I like this ghost ship and this ghost crew doing that. I think they're neat. And I like Javier Bardem in this role. I think that's really cool. Um, in fact, I'd say that's the pull of the movie. I'm not, I don't really think there's anything else. Uh, how about you, Lenny? Uh, there's not too much. Um, <laughs> I guess, so, they did Fast Five in the beginning. They dragged a safe through a city, so that was cool. In the fifth movie. I mean, you they know, probably it all works. Their... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess so, th- there's something there. I I kind of liked seeing Keira Knightley and Orlando Bloom again. And I liked that they didn't have dialogue, again. so it was like, see their faces. <laughs> They had just as much charisma uh, uh, between them as there was in the first three movies. You could just see, you could see the chemistry as Keira Knightley, with no words, wordlessly runs up to Orlando Bloom, who had one scene with his kid in the beginning of the movie when he was all barnacly. You know, I actually liked that scene. I I thought that scene was garbage. It was garbage. It really should not have been. That's like the end of the movie. Yeah. Why is this the beginning? Anyway. Sorry. sorry. Yeah. (laughs) The Karina and Henry characters were, were fine. They were, they were, they were probably better acted than uh, Orlando and Keira. Yeah, maybe not Kira, but definitely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that kid, that kid had. They both had something. They both looked like they actually wanted to be there. What do you yeah. think, David? What What did you like? Oh, okay, so <laughs> yeah, I'm still, I'm really digging hard here, guys. But kind of like you guys were saying earlier, uh, a little bit ago, the biggest pull I have for me on this one is the bad guy, and Salazar. You know. I love I love his ship. I love his backstory. But the thing that just pulls me away from him is I would love to have him to not have any shit in his mouth while he's talking <laughs> because it just drives me up the wall. I'm like, not only yeah. do you have an accent with your, so you're, you're a Spanish speaker, a native Spanish speaker that's going to speak English with a heavy accent. And now we're going to shove shit in your mouth and make your accent even harder to understand. And so I have to have subtitles to even understand your English at this point. <laughs> so I, my wife is like, you were like, I, I, I ranted for like 10 minutes to her about that. And she was like, you, you need to go take, do you, do you want to take a blood pressure pill? Like go, go calm down. And I'm like, no, I don't need a blood pressure pill. And anyway, so, uh, but yeah, the, I yeah. did really love, I really did love his ship crew. And the only other part that I actually really, really enjoyed was the, the hanging scene. That's the only scene, the choreography oh, that was in it. Yeah. That was the only scene in the whole movie that actually worked for me because the choreography was great. The dialogue was a little bit eh, but like the action, the way they get out of the traps, the guillotine stuff, that was, it was all point. And I'm like, oh, this is great. It's, it's starting to pick up, you know? And then after that, I'm like, WTF guys. You know, like what? What is? What are you guys doing here? So, but yeah. those are the two, the only two parts that I actually enjoyed in that whole movie. So, I would also Here's just like is. to comment real quick on uh, Javier Bardem. So, Letney and I have both watched it, and I had watched it with subtitles, so I didn't even notice that his dialogue was unintelligible, <laughs> and I just like really <laughs> enjoyed it. And then, like, you had a hard time like understanding anything, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm pretty against watching movies with subtitles unless it's, it's a foreign movie. Uh, because I hate, because my eyes go right to the subtitles. And also, I hate reading the line a half a second before I hear it. Um, mm-hmm. So I try to avoid it whenever possible. And without subtitles, he's almost unintelligible. And it's kind of gross. Like, it, it's, it's nauseating like- to me. <laughs> Jesse, this is this is like the exact replay of our tenant conversation <laughs> where I watched it with subtitles and you didn't. <laughs> yeah. Let's not get into that now. All right, all right, all right, you, you gang of vultures. Okay. I, I'm not even I'm not even commenting. I know, but I see I see I see your face. I have, I have, I have absolutely no comments oh my on gosh. Tenet. 
Okay. He's uh he's holding all of his rage for that next uh pirates movie so he can protest it. <laughs> <laughs> so now that we've talked for longer than I expected about some of the stuff that we did like, we're trying our best to be charitable. We, we had much nicer things to say about it than I expected. Yeah. But now let's talk about maybe what doesn't work about On Stranger Tides and Dead Men Tell No Tales, and maybe specifically maybe some least favorite scenes that point to what really doesn't work about these movies. I, I have one that I might save to the end. Maybe one of you guys already has it, but I know Jesse, you have something cooking. I've got one scene. I'm just, I just hate with like a passion and it's in dead men tell me no tales. It's utterly pointless. They get captured by a group of people. Oh yeah. And one of them's name is pig. And then they're the in marriage the, scene, the whale bone structure. And then there's a marriage that happens. <laughs> Between this guy Wait, does it happen? and his ugly sister and oh, Jack, and he yeah. wants it for some reason, and he somehow knows Jack, and the joke is that his sister is ugly, and that Jack is going to marry her. Yep. Hysterical. It's, it's stupid. There's no reason to have it. It's like, it's not funny in the slightest. There's nothing creative. It's extra shit just tacked on, and that is exactly what these two movies are. <laughs> so extra shit. It's, it's a very good representation like here it. of these four and five movies that is my least favorite scene of the entire pirates franchise nice strong words let do you have similar strong words yeah so i don't know that this is the least is the worst scene in the movie but it was the scene i hated the most and it's the scene where uh, i think it's a flashback javier bardem is remembering uh when he was cursed and there's a flashback oh, yeah. of young Jack Sparrow. And oh, it I hate, terrible. <laughs> hate so many things about it. I hate the CGI. It looks awful. Like the de-aging looks terrible. And But what I really, really, really hate is that they do the thing that they do in the new Star Wars movies where every single stupid piece of accessory in a movie has to have a backstory. <laughs> why do we know? Why do we need to know where he got his little bone thing on his forehead? Why do we know where he got the beads? It's so dumb and useless. <laughs> and it's like fan service that nobody wants i hate it so much <laughs> wow <laughs> and it, like that's so strong i love it it, it, oh, it minimizes like the, the, flow. the value of the character too yeah, because does. like he got all of these things at the same time yeah like, like the backstory is just this one thing yep that, that is he's it? never mentioned that he's never yeah. mentioned before like what like he sucks like he's like, done nothing if this is his yeah. big moment why doesn't he talk more about it as opposed to like why doesn't it a bunch of little things that he does throughout his life period that he collects all this stuff from and we can discuss all that as we go along but no we gotta make him look gorgeous <laughs> yeah it's just like <laughs> it, was, I just, it was so weird like it, like really you guys weird. who's here has seen alita battle angel uh, yeah okay david i got intense alita battle angel vibes i was like yeah wow his eyes are big why is his mouth so small he has no wrinkles <laughs> oh. his, his nose is perfect like i spent I, I paused it and i'm just looking at it like that doesn't look anything like a human being has ever looked no it just Johnny Depp it, didn't look like that you we we have this man's face for all time in hundreds of movies yeah. since he was a, since he was a kid just just look at those. Why do you have to like make up what yeah. you think he looked like? Yeah, I wasn't looking. I was watching on like a tiny computer screen or whatever. Wasn't looking too closely at it, but I thought it was like like a Johnny Depp impersonator, like coming in from <laughs> Pirates, and he was like really young. And that that that's that was my first impression. Like this is definitely not Johnny Depp anymore. <laughs> Not at all. You could literally go back to like watch what's eating Gilbert Grape and you had to yes. get a better representation of it. Yeah, this is yes. like that would be uh, a it would be a great like age frame for him if you could just like do that. I mean, they do stuff like that all the time. Like they did the thing where they took all the pictures and movies of James Dean and they actually like made a movie with him in it. Yes. Like and it looks really good actually cuz I'm like do something like that, but no, yeah. they blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, it made me mad. It made me very made angry. Look, to say. Made it look like an alien. Like he just Ugh. looks. Yeah, he looks like. It, what? What? What's your least favorite then, David? Okay, so this might be a little unpopular, but I was a little po'd about the dead sharks oh, that was because really <laughs> it was the amount of slow mo that they threw in there. It started to irritate me to the extent <sighs> of like. It's literally like, look, guys, look how awesome our CGI is, and I'm just like, cool, I get it move things along this scene has gone on way too long 
And I'm like, I was getting a little irritated with it. So that's what really bothered me the most about it was the sheer amount of CGI that they were starting to throw into that into the movie as a whole. But really, I think they packed a grand total of like two minutes of CGI in that in that area yeah. and i was just yeah. like i'm i'm done i'm so yeah. done are you, are you sure it's not because you've just been playing hours and hours of raft david probably <laughs> probably so many hours of raft, which i haven't even beaten yet which is great because my yeah. buddy james decided to go off into la la lane and play another game and i'm like you gotta come back to me bro you gotta come back <laughs> we have some other cgi sharks to fight uh, oh, man. so those sharks are so stupid they are they're so stupid i i didn't uh, my my least favorite one i think was from Pirates 4, uh, Sparrow says Daddy to Barbosa at one point. Well, I thought that was fun. Um, <laughs> Daddy Sparrow, Daddy Barbosa. Daddy Barbosa. Daddy, Daddy, Daddy Barbosa. Barbosa. So we introduce, in Pirates 4, we introduce Barbosa as a privateer. Okay. Oh. He's wearing the wig. I hate that so He's much. got all the lace. Oh, and what follows was... then is Jack, who wants a, a little eclair, right? And, of course, he's fumbling, and he doesn't get it. And it's everyone's just laughing. It's classic Jack shit. And then yeah. and then the, exactly. the, the Claire goes up on the ceiling. And what follows then is, I think, the most pointless action scene that is in any of these movies yeah. is his running mm-hmm. around on the table, comically kicking everything, and then, like, swinging on this chandelier to get to that chandelier to get the little Eclair thing. And that was where I was watching it so early in the movie. And I was like, oh, no, we're really in trouble. (laughs) This movie is two and a half hours long. And they think they have time to do a five minute action scene about Jack getting a donut. (laughs) Pretty much. That that was really where a lot of my rage started to happen. And I think it's it rhymes with some of Jesse's criticisms of World's End previous episode, because it starts to feel like they are really there's no editor here. It's like, whatever you want to do, like, just go ahead and just do it. We got time. We got time for two minutes of CGI well, dead well, sharks. Well, that's like Gore, Gore Verbinski did. That's what I Gore mean, Verbinski did. Yeah. But I mean, as, as a franchise as a whole, yeah. it really just, it, at a certain point, it didn't matter how long the movie was. Yeah. It didn't matter what we were doing. There was no sense of pacing or mm-hmm. timing or just making this look like an actual movie that had momentum. And it, it's funny reading some of the notes. I don't want to call the editors out, but there's two editors on Pirates 5 who said that, one of them started at the beginning of the movie and the other one started at the end of the movie and they sort of met in the middle. <laughs> and you're like, I don't think that's how you do that. <laughs> what, you're, huh. two, you're two different I've been guys. editing everything wrong. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Like, like huh. when, when we've had to pass off editing for episodes, what we have done is someone will do the first half huh. and then they'll send the completed file with the end time and then the other person will complete it. Because that kind of makes sense. You get a sense of what that person is doing. We've never attempted to... Tenant edit something with a temporal pincer movement because it doesn't work. <laughs> and actually, that's crazy because, like, I kind of enjoy the first half of Pirates Five, and then when the sharks hit, that's when it really takes a massive tumble. Mm. The sharks yeah. hit, then there's the marriage scene, and yeah. then there's the I don't know. There's, there's the part you... where the boat's growing, and there's like. Like the sound of the oh, the, oh the black pearl oh yeah oh, that's right she needs yeah. the sea <laughs> oh my word like, and what then is going like, on oh. here and then the dead ship statue comes out and like, oh yeah. and then oh. and then the, the, the yeah. sea splits on the island and they walk and there's a, <laughs> there's a trident. this is amazing you remember all of this <laughs> I, I remember yeah. it because I was trying to like it. I was try like I was like oh this is actually like better than the fourth one I guess maybe this will turn out to be like on par with Pirates three that that was the most I could hope for uh, <laughs> right. but no yeah, gave it. I couldn't even do that well Mike's least what? favorite scene do you have oh did you have oh I don't know scene? I mean like my I think that I I don't know if there's a specific scene that's my least favorite like the opening scene the full opening scene the running away to to Pirates four was also like my one of my least favorite things. I was trying to like it, and then there was a moment when, like, it's it's the eclair, and it gets up there. I'm like, you realize that he's kind of, like, doing stuff, and, and Barbosa comes out. You're like, oh, this is horrible. This is going to be a really bad movie. And the whole <laughs> like, time, Uncle is... Vernon is just beady eyed <laughs> just... <laughs> Yes! That's who it is! You're Vernon right! Dursley. Yeah. Uh, what are you um, doing, man? Oh, Barbosa uh, looks so terrible. He looks. Oh, he looks really. He just comes out. And you're like, oh no! You are a caricature of everything that I liked before. Yeah. Why? <laughs> Why are you doing this? Playing with his curls. I don't uh, know. 
I, I think if there was one thing that I'd call out as being my least favorite thing amongst many things that I dislike a lot, though, it's the weird mermaid and preacher relationship. Yeah. The preacher just in general. Yeah. Um, like his character, his character, but then like their relationship is so manufactured Makes and no the end is really weird. Yep. How like, are they supposed to have him- kids? I think I think <laughs> Does she, she lay the eggs and then he does this thing? <laughs> she has legs this... if she's off uh, out of the ground, remember? So like she could come yeah, out. She does the get can come out and be on land. That's like a whole thing that's never touched again. Yep. Uh, and and like what what's happening to them? What like she the ending scene is she drags him into like a little cave. What? Is that, what is I happening? Think was, is he, does he become a mermaid? Or is he? Or is she actually evil? Did does he die? Because that would be the better ending for this. Uh, I, I think it is. I think, off, Jesse, I think it's he becomes the, a merman. Okay, <laughs> let's be straight here. <laughs> merman, Jesse, merman. Be correct about this. <laughs> I think I'm she's sorry. just like mermaids play the long game. You know, like they're always they're gonna get you in the end. So, I would like to believe that. I, I, I was very they, checked out. Like, like I said, the, I, I know. Yeah, they're I was, the best poker players ever. <laughs> Just yeah. like, like, I uh, really love you. And they take you down, they kill you, and eat you. And then you know, I was like, oh, yeah, it's good. I love the way that you will taste after uh, I drown you. What a yeah. dumb. My favorite part about their relationship is when he angrily yells, "She has a name," and then realizes he doesn't know her name, and then gives her a name. <laughs> I'm going to call Serena. you Serena. <laughs> Which is like... Yeah, but it's like... It's like Marie, and his passion for her comes out of nowhere. Like, he's acting so normal. He turns oh. everybody like, she has a name! <laughs> <laughs> I actually rewound the movie there because I was really confused. I was like, I think I think I missed a scene. I really think that there's a I scene that's so not too. in the movie. Yeah. 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 Uh, where, where they had a conversation. But then he's just like, he thanks her for something. It's like, thanks for pushing me out of the way. But then I, I like rewound like 15 minutes and all I could see was when they... I just them walking. No, no. When the tower fell. No, actually, yeah. all right. The tower fell, right? Okay. Yeah. And um Oh, is that what she's she, referring to? Yeah. She grabs onto him oh. and, and ends up he ends up being saved because of it. Okay. And so I think she's playing the long game here. Like yeah. she's gonna eat this guy. Yeah. And she wants to do it no matter what. Yeah. But like he ascribes it to her doing it because because she's actually good. Because of lovey dovey. Also, yeah. there's no reason for her to be like a good mermaid. Like there's no reason. There's no reason for all the bad mermaids to be bad mermaids. <laughs> there's no reason for mermaids. <laughs> there's no the, the reason for thing is really weird. Also, they if don't... you look at her name, her name being Serena, they actually spell it with a Y, so it's like it's, it's the like siren. siren. It's like if this was a good movie, that would be an interesting fact. Yeah, yeah, I, but it just it was there because I was watching it with subtitles. Thanks yeah. for that useless knowledge, Vito. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I just I just forgot, yeah. I just forgot yeah. something important, like my daughter's name. <laughs> So you're like, this in there. <laughs> that's why I wrote it down so it's not up here what's my what's my home address I forgot it what is, it's like it's but just at like, least the mermaid's name is Serena uh, oh Serena okay Serena the siren all right let's 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 all ditch right. on right. stranger tides and let the dead men float away on them let's talk about so the funny. franchise here all right I have three questions for you guys yep. so looking at all these movies in all five movies in what order did you like them the best? What do you think, Letney? Okay. Yeah, I mean, I think I mentioned this earlier in the podcast, but I think they decrease in, in quality over time. So, yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Gotcha. Interesting. Okay. All right. That's Interesting. that. Uh, mine is similar, but with four and five switched around. I think four is far and away the worst. And five is, um, a, well, okay, I shouldn't even have said far and away. It's far and away worse than the first three. <laughs> and then, yes, and then, I agree. And then it's the five is slightly better because I like Javier Bardem, and uh, and that's it. What do you think, David? So it was a little tough for me because I really like. It's weird. I know I'm kind of probably being out of the fish out of water on this one. I really like two and three. Yeah, more than the more than one. Yeah, Whoa. I know, but one Whoa. is definitely. Yeah, buddy. There's two of you out here. I, it's weird. Oh. I don't know why. I like it so much, but I just like 
maybe it's because I really like Davy Jones as a bad yeah. guy. I yeah. don't know what yeah. it is. It, it, I just like that kind of like that the double feature kind of thing they do when they kind of stretch the movie. Basically, one movie to two is basically what they do. But I like that a little bit more than the first one. And the first one, it, I kind of rewatched it recently, and it definitely kind of shows a little bit on age, a little bit with graphics, you know, a lot of jazz. But I mean, that's the first experience of like you getting into Johnny Depp. And I, I did like that quite a bit, but obviously then four and then just, I'm, I'm sorry, then five and then four are my last one. Four is just a steaming pile. I just, I can't, I can't go anywhere near it, but I'll go back to one every once in a while, but I usually watch two and three more than the first one. So. Yeah. I, I'm just oh. going to, I'm just going to jump in here and yeah. say, yeah, I, my favorite one is two. I love two. Two is one of my favorite movies. I, I like three a lot, but the problem is that it's three hours long. Yeah. Uh, so I, for that reason and that reason alone, I dock it and I put it below one. So it, for me, it goes two, one, three, five, four. You count weird, dude. I know. Well, so for me, for me, one is always going to be the best. I I love the first one. I grew up watching and rewatching that movie. But uh, but so it's one, then three. I love three. I uh, I I hadn't rewatched it in forever, but it's so much fun. Yeah. And it's just like it's all over the place. And and two, two is like it's trying to go there, but they ha- they still restrained it. Like they were like, I don't know if we can do all of this stuff yet. And and three, they were like, Yeah, this is great. And after that, there's like way below three <laughs> comes number five, or so it's it's one, three, two, then way down comes five, and way down as far as you can go into the is, fathoms is four <laughs> yeah that steaming pile is number four so then asking this then what order did you guys like jack the best maybe go back around with letney again yep well same answer i think he gets progressively <laughs> worse in the movies <laughs> yeah you know i mean in the first one he's great because he has this he acts drunk and he acts kind of crazy but he has this master plan and He's kind of the secret genius, and that's awesome to watch. And I feel like that kind of slips away with each movie. He has less of a plan, and he's more drunk and more of a caricature. And by the fifth movie, you know, he doesn't have any plan. And things he's not doing things. Things are just happening to him. Like, yeah. it's depressing. The fifth movie, is his character is depressing. Like, yeah. when you see him trade away the compass... Like, this is a dude who is straight up, al- like, an alcoholic, and they're yeah. portraying it like, is this funny? Yeah. Like, is this, or or is this, like, am I supposed to be feeling as sad as I'm feeling now? Because yeah. this guy is Ugh. is a total mess. Total yeah. everything that he's, what he was. Everything that he's, he's represented must be worthless, because this is where it ends up, Yeah, you know? Yeah. Which would have been fun if they made a statement on that. Yeah. But it just kind of happens. It just yeah. seems like Johnny Depp forgot how to play that character. Yeah. Because he doesn't have the mannerisms or anything. Or he just didn't care anymore. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that's, that's yeah. kind of more of like, that's what <laughs> I would go with. Yeah. yeah. That's really bad. Yeah. I'm with you. I think that's spot on. I, yeah, I love Johnny Depp in, in one or Jack Sparrow in number one because, dude, that dude has a mission. His mission is go murder Barbosa and take back the pearl. It's a revenge story. He's been saving that bullet for like 10 years. I love that. That's a juicy tale, you know? That's what I love from from that character. And then he manipulates everybody to get that goal. And then the second one, it's like he's just running away and trying to finagle his way out of a deal that he made with Davy Jones. And that's really cool. It, it's still not the juiciness of the first one, but, I like, that's a nice plot. Again, that gives Jack Sparrow room to, like, manipulate because he has that one goal. And then third, he starts to be confused. Like, he doesn't know if he wants to stab Davy Jones' heart. And so it's like, it's him making plans about something that he doesn't know if he wants to do or not. And then the fourth, there's no plan. He's going with the whims of whatever. And I guess he sort of has one to get the pearl back. And then five, yeah, no plan, just drunk. And that's a terrible husk of what he started out as. Yeah, Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to echo those like heavily. Like I said, it's just, it goes downhill, like from one into five. It's just you come after him uh, with this amazing, like brand new character in one. And you're just like, this is great. You know, like he does all this zany stuff. Like you said, guys, I've all said he has a plan, you know, there's going to be an end goal somewhere in there. And he actually has like a mission throughout the first, you know, first couple films. And then in four, it's just like, what the hell? Like he's got no point to him. 
And then in five, it's just, it's even worse. It's just, he's yeah. just ridiculed down to dumb lines and stupid tricks to get out of, you know, being captured. And it's just kind of, it gets yeah. old. It's kind of like, how many times can we water down this character before you start, you know, you don't, you don't even recognize him anymore. It's kind of how yeah, I feel yeah. about it. But Johnny Depp in number five actively makes the movie worse for him being in it. Yeah. 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 I agree. It could have been like a really fun story if it had no ties to Pirates of the Caribbean at all. Yep. I mean, like yeah. you could have had like the, the yeah. son and daughter thing <clears throat> and like the trying to get Will back or mm -hmm. something like that. Like that could yeah. have been a, a fun that story. That would have been better. Um, yeah. <laughs> what if he showed up at that. the end? What if he showed up at the end and, and bit an apple and said, "What's become of my pearl?" <laughs> that would be great. I'd be copyright that shit. Yeah, Barbosa or, him. or go to your favorite fan fiction site, Vito. Whatever you, whatever you do. <laughs> uh, actually, I just thought of a fix. I just thought of a fix for four and five. Like, take no, un, there's no fix for four. Uh, scrap that movie. <laughs> Throw it <laughs> like, in the trash. Like, have oh, a Pirates of the Caribbean movie and just like. Give Jack Sparrow fun cameos. Have him come in for two minutes, and that'd be it. Yeah. That'd be fun. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I would like that. I'd also like it if he was dead, and then he was like the spirit, like the trickster spirit, like a Loki almost. Yeah. That would be kind of fun. Be cool. Oh, yeah, that would be, that'd be really cool. Yeah, I mean, it's supernatural yeah. in the series, so like yeah, whatever, yeah. you can do anything. Okay. Did you have a? An, do you have anything to add? Mike? Uh, no. No, I don't I've got either. nothing to add. I mean, kind of like three better than two. Like just in general, I like three better than two. Although I do, yeah. Yeah, let's go to the next one. Because the next one, I think, is more fun. <laughs> yeah, let me. In what order do you like the villains the best? Are you just going to say one through five again? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> there's going to be a little change up this time. Um, so I think Barbosa in one is the best villain. Followed by Davy Jones in two and three. I don't know that I have a favorite movie that I like him in. Um, is Davy Jones the villain in three? He's one of them, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna really oh, are we saying the villain sure. of uh, three is uh, what's he's in the yet. trading company? Yeah, we are not saying that. Okay. Corporate takeover. <laughs> That's right. It is one John of the aggressive man. corporate mergers. Is is uh, <laughs> one of the villains? Is is, is the primary? It's villain. like he's that, like okay, the one primary. driving Davy Jones to do everything he's doing, though. So he's behind it all. He's a grandmaster. Yeah, that, I that's, guess. That's, that, yeah, that's yeah, like saying sorry. that like that like Ronan the Accuser isn't actually a bad guy. It's just Thanos. Okay, we can't get crazy here. <laughs> I mean, but yeah, he's the main bad guy, and then David Jones the secondary one, the third. But he's the primary bad guy in the second. You, you can you can say David Jones. I just wanted to be an asshole. Sorry, <laughs> mission mission accomplished. <laughs> Not you, Mike. <laughs> I roll here. Okay, sorry. Crazy. So it's one, Wait. two, three. Yeah, so it's uh, one, two slash three, uh, and then Javier Bardem in five, and then I guess Blackbeard in four is the villain? Yeah. yeah. Uh, but again, it seems family. like there's not a clear villain. It's a super messy plot. Well, I mean, do you have, or is it the would be the Spanish. Yeah, I guess not. Yeah, it would have to be, it's a, it has to be Blackbeard. Yeah. And his daughter. Yeah. And his daughter. And his, it's, it's the Blackbeard uh, clan. The teachers are the bad oof. guys. Oh wait, but where do you put the Mr. Corporate guy from from Pirates? I can't remember that guy's name. Oh, yeah. You know, honestly, I might guy? put him third before Javier Bardem. I was really excited for Javier Bardem in this movie. That was the main reason I was looking forward to it. But I just found his character so confused, and I found his speaking so unintelligible that I was I was just maybe more disappointed than I should have been, or I'm grading it lower because I was so disappointed. So yeah, I guess that's yeah. my second to last villain. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta disagree with you there. Uh, so for me, I love Barbosa. Who doesn't love Barbosa? Yeah. But I think Javier yeah. Bardem is my second favorite villain here. Really? Like, yeah, yeah, I. Yeah. He's gross. He's. But then again, I also find Davy Jones really gross too. Like he makes a lot of sucking noises with his like <laughs> tentacle face. He does. <laughs> it's like there's a lot of that going on with both of these guys, and for me, they're pretty close. Uh, with Javier, like, I just love the unhinged, confused guy who's also ruthless. So it's like, oh, he could kill anybody at any moment. And then Davy Jones has that too, but he's not, like, hunting down all the ships. And I, I like Javier Bardem's ship too. But then again, I like the Kraken more. See, the Kraken is also another part of the Davy Jones villain. 
It's kind of, the ship is kind of yes. boring. You know what? Okay, maybe I'll switch. Maybe I'll switch just because the Kraken is involved. Oh my and, god! And tied with Davy Jones, like you can't you can't not say that the Kraken isn't a villain. All right, so all right, so, yeah, I, I'll agree to that. <laughs> Wait, except East India Trading Company man, he's my second to last favorite villain. I just the dude is so dumb. He doesn't need to be riding on that ship, and then he would have solved all his issues. Well, I mean, the plot is dumb, but I think he is great, menacing, <laughs> cold, psychopathic villain. Like, I don't know if you can blame the character for the dumb plot. I mean, you, you're tired to me, I, but <laughs> I, I will, I will do so. I will say that character has no need to be doing what he's doing. That's part, of, and the plot is part of the character, which is maybe why also Davy Jones is, has to be better than Javier Bardem too, in my mm. mind. Okay, I think that's settled for me. It's one, two, three, <laughs> five. <laughs> Five, three, <laughs> four. Are, are you sure? Do you okay, want to go for it again? <laughs> David, what about you? What is your ranking you know, of villains in? I, I have just really thought about this deep and hard. I think I'm going to talk about it for about another 30 minutes. No, I'm, joking, I'm joking. No, I don't care at all. So no, it's uh, a little, I might be a little out of left field here. I love Davy Jones as a, as a as a bad guy. He's my number one. Okay, uh, Barbosa is number two. He he's they're very close together. I just love them as characters together because they both have just amazing backstories and reasons to be bad guys. Uh, my third one is obviously Salazar, and then who's the bad guy in four? Blackbeard. Oh, uh, the teaches. <laughs> Sorry, that's yeah. how bad it is. Uh, yeah. and then the teaches, <laughs> and then the East India Training Company because. They're just re- so dumb. They're so dumb. They're, <laughs> they try to be mean. They try to be bad. And they're so, they're just awful at it. They're not even good at it. You know, so that's where I put them at. So there. Yeah, I'm nice. going to, that's nice and concise. There. I think, I think I agree. I think I agree with that. I Yet the day I made this list, I put Barbosa first, but like you, I, I waffle. I go back yeah. and forth. I, I yeah. love Davy Jones so much, but I also love Barbosa. It's just that I think, especially now that we're talking about it, I wonder if Barbosa's how much I like him has been tainted by yeah. this by these last two. It's crazy. Like it's definitely tainted my my view of of the whole series. Like like honestly, the theme in four and five is yeah. just mm-hmm. it's played constantly. Yeah, just absolutely like all the time, and all it is is variations on the theme. Like there's nothing else in this. If I have to hear it go, ba da dum bum bum. Ba-da-dum, bum, bum. And, like, and no guys, more, guys. Like like a month ago when we started doing <laughs> this. Like when when we first heard that theme, so excited! I was so excited. I felt like I was you know thirteen again. Yeah, yeah I was I like, know. oh my gosh, yes, here we are. It was nostalgic. Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah. It's so great. And now it's like you guys Can are just are just trying well, to it's... suck my soul dry. Muscle. Maybe that's going to be Pirates yeah. of the Caribbean six. It's going to be about like a pirate trying to return the lost souls of all those who have actually sat through. The first five movies. So all the mine will be in there. But don't yeah. you know Same that's how here. Disney gets all its power? It sucks <laughs> its soul, our souls from us. So, this is kind so, of like Dark Tower kind of level of oh of, yeah, def- of meta absolutely, is, is absolutely kind of yeah. Disney is starting to look into its staring into its own abyss, and and it's it's also staring back. That's right. So, Mike, are are you saying the theme is actually the best villain in this franchise? <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, I uh, sure, sure, Jesse. Yes. All right. Sure. Yes. I'll say yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Really need to talk about female characters. Th- these movies care so little about them. That four and five have like, like we have Kira Knightley and she's like, she's kind of objective. She's objectified pretty, pretty heavily, especially in like three. I was like, when you were like, let's not put yeah. a kind of friend there. She's definitely objectified. Yeah. yeah. But like, and then they especially, ramp it up. Especially by three. Yeah. They ramp yeah. it up with Penelope Cruz where that is just her character. That's, there's yeah. nothing else really there. Well, yeah. And then, yeah. and then in five, they have uh, someone who's like more of science and not that, right? And then they like constantly make these stupid, like the horologist joke that goes on for like two minutes, oh, two minutes so too long. And they keep uh, talking about how a donkey. And yeah. I'm like, haha, and I'm, you know, yeah. auto, you know, I don't just, this, this is a dumb joke. Did, did you even, did you guys notice this made me really uncomfortable since we're here when she's looking at the notebook and Barbosa's coming up to talk to her? The camera's focused on her looking at her notebook, but it's also right down her shirt. Yeah. yeah. And it comes back several times. Like this wasn't, this was not only not a mistake, but they had to like block the shot specifically to do this over and over and over again. And I was like, wow, we're really doing this? 
we're really doing yeah. this? We're like yeah. this. Everyone does not respect this woman. Everyone thinks she's a witch. It's like the joke from Monty Python, right? <laughs> the, yeah. the witch and everything. But the movie's not even on her side. And that that's what's oh. really startling. It's like, yeah. I, 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 it's okay so if you're going to do all these jokes yeah. if, if like we're the, yeah. showing the pirates are evil. But the, the filmmakers themselves are almost inserting themselves here. They are the and pirates. It, yeah, it's disgusting. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. This whole series is really weird about that because on the one hand, it's sort of lauded as like this this series that portrays the strong woman, right? Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it very, very, very much objectifies every woman who's in it. Yeah, yeah. It just makes all of the characters is like, okay, we want to we want to focus on on you as like a sex object, and so to do that, we're just gonna make everyone around you stupider. Yeah. Every movie gets worse, and every movie everyone gets stupider. Yeah. yeah they do. It's, it's, it's really weird. Yeah. Well, we said it, especially that the four and five are bad. Yep. Uh, I think we said that a couple of times. Yeah. But they're yep. bad. Anyway. By the way, <laughs> don't watch them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just it. steer clear. No, not, head, not a head dad head movie. Clear Neither a dad movie. Not a dad movie. Never not in a, a million years. Movie. Never yeah. even like, not in the, yeah. When that, when our ancestors find this, like they will be ashamed. And they will well, say, they'll, they'll I have to because <laughs> a, another podcast is going to cover them when Pirates 9 and 12 comes out. You're like, let's go back and read them all. <laughs> uh, you know, one good outcome, though, um, I've taught my uh, my daughters how to how to say swashbuckling and uh -oh. uh, swab the deck, you scallywags and mm. that sort of stuff. So that's scallywags. Great. But your wife loves that. She's like <laughs> right in the middle of cleaning the house. She's like, swab the deck. And she's like, I will kill you, Mike. I'm going to kill you later. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> but so but to Jesse's point, right? Universally, four and five, not a dad movie. I not dad movies. I I I the eyes have it. Uh, Avast? Huh? Avast? Uh, no, no, Avast would be no. <laughs> Aye, Avast would be what be ye so, thinking about the series as a whole? <laughs> exactly. So I think Jesse, you proposed when talking about World's End that you were saying only the first one is a dad movie. Is, yes. Am I correct? That so is, Mike yeah. and I disagreed. Yeah. And then with you guys, with you new guys here, where are you two thinking? Like maybe Letney, which of these are dad movies? Uh, I think the trilogy is dad, are dad movies. Can cool. you say more about that? Um, I, I mean, no, I no, no, wait, no, no, don't, don't say anymore. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> I was no. like, mm, mm. you know, well, since Letney's, uh, you know, given up his time, uh, to kind of expand on this, I'm going to go on that. Uh, so voluntary. <laughs> thank you. Um, and so I, I'm, I'm kind of in the mind that I think one is a perfect dad movie, f uh, for letting, you know, my kids sit down with my kids and watching it. But I think two and three would be a little bit later on. It's a little bit, those are a little bit scarier in my opinion, I think. So, yeah. 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 yeah bigger monsters. I agree. And I think as a whole, we got three movies that we're saying ma majority are saying are dad movies. Yeah. And we have two movies that all of us are saying are not. So, so where does this leave us with the franchise is, well, but it, does majority win? Is that by majority the franchise's dad movie? Or I don't know about you, you guys, say, but whoa. I just pretend like the second two movies don't exist. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I do. Yeah. <laughs> just say, yeah. "Look, here they are," and then they're like, well, my, "My kids are like, are there any more, Papa?" And I'm like, "No, <laughs> no." <laughs> <laughs> well, Vito made a very strong stance in the last episode that that was a bad attitude to have. So. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> oh yeah didn't we didn't we say something like oh prepare for surprises like maybe maybe fifth is actually the best movie of, uh, of them all we did it, not even close that was a total lie that yeah, was a lie we no. all knew that that wasn't the case we Vito was the one who that. said it he is the liar and i was the only one who had seen it at that time <laughs> so i was totally lying he is the liar <laughs> <laughs> i think like so with with the other franchise that we did the sam raimi spider-man we were very happy that even with the flaws of number three that we would be kind of showing this to our kids and showing this where we came from in our childhoods. And I, I'm just going to roll straight with that. And just, you guys don't remember, <laughs> but with these ones, we did, these we did. We, oh, no, we saw, said that was not a dad movie. We absolutely yeah. said that was not a dad movie. Well, <laughs> <some of it. laughs> Spider-Man three was not a dad movie. That's what they said. That's what they you said. Heathens. <laughs> I know. I know. Oh, yeah, I'm going with Vito on this one, guys. That's definitely <laughs> yeah. right. oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me, here. Spider Man 3 dead movie. 
Yeah, the trilogy's down. Or down. Ah! I don't Probably. know what we said, Jesse. We did not. Like, that isn't. We you said I, you I would show it to him either way. Yeah, you said you would show it to him as like continuation of the series, but it's not a dad movie. Okay. All right. Well, I All will right. caveat what I said about the pirates movies in that I think the first one is a standalone dad movie. I don't think two or three hold up on their own, but I think as a collection, they're a dad movie. Mm. That's a very good clarification I that. that I cut that you off. That is a good caveat. I will like, agree with two that. Two is barely its own movie. It ends in the middle, you know? It yeah. ends on a cliffhanger. Yeah. Yeah. But I do yeah, think, yeah, the whole series is, yeah, for sure, Dad. The whole theory. Nice. Okay, well then, I guess we will we will leave off. And whenever the sixth one comes out, I guess we are now honor-bound to do it. Uh, we, have, oh. we have picked up the curse of the Pirate's Pod. Yes, <laughs> I will commit several to have before it curse. On me. <laughs> I'm only saying 20% of these movies are Dad movies. <laughs> That's true. But Do you guys think that you... six could possibly be worse? No. no, absolutely. I, I, think don't think so. I don't think so. I think Watch. it's really hard. Watch. <laughs> Could, is it possible to be worse than than on Stranger Tides? Like you say it... that, and I'm I say I say that every day at my job, and I always find that I'm always proven <laughs> wrong every single day. I'm like, oh, there's no, right. there's nothing could be worse than this. Oh, this is worse. This is worse. It's like, oh, here's a naked man running around in front of me. Oh, here's a make- naked man with poop throwing throwing poop at me. See? <laughs> it's worse. Uh, just like this series. <laughs> exactly. This series is a naked man running after us throwing poop. Yep. Trust me. It could always that be worse. We'll be Pirates of the Caribbean 6. At, at World's <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Well, thank you, Letney and David, for coming on this ride. David, do you want to plug your socials one more time? No, absolutely. Um, you guys can find us over at Seriously Pulling Conversations About Culture Podcast on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Uh, you can also find us on all the myriad of uh, podcast hosting sites, but just look us up and check out our podcast. Like and subscribe. It would be very much appreciated. Yeah, and check out uh, my episode with David there on Hellboy and yeah. Jesse's episode on Settlers of Catan. They're both That's really right. fun. I actually really liked your guys' episode. I just want to say I, <laughs> I have too. almost no background with playing Settlers <laughs> of Catan, but hearing you guys just talk about your memories and about how the game works and getting really into it, I was like, actually, this is really fun. I, I really yeah. enjoyed that one. My wife actually listened to that, and she's listened to our episodes and said she preferred that. She preferred her episode. <laughs> I like a That's what I normally do. That's <laughs> okay. It's acceptable. What were you, you going to say? I was going to say, um, I, I listened to it right after having been completely, completely beaten, squarely playing Settlers of Catan. So I thought it felt good. I okay. yeah. <laughs> By my, by my brother. Story. That was great. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, awesome. guys. Well, yeah, uh, it's been great. Um, very happy that we're not doing this anymore. But Jesse, maybe would you like to announce our new series? Oh, what is the new? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be on uh, people who find things. Namely, people that kill other people. So it's about people that find people that kill people. It's a detective series, guys. There it detectives! is. <laughs> there we go. Do a detectives next. We're gonna be really Did excited. you detect that? Before we said it, sometimes I wish this is a video podcast because I make a lot of facial expressions that are just lost in silence. Yeah. If you did, let us know at our Gmail, uh, not your father's movies at gmail.com or at Twitter, NYF movies. Also, at no, NYF Facebook movies, page, NYF movies. not your father's movies Facebook page. And yeah, NYF movies. I think you meant Gmails, Mike. Gmails. I forgot about that. Yeah. It's the Gmail. You can find us on the internet. <laughs> my fellow all shit, my fellow kids. We're all over it. Check us out, hit us up. We'll talk to you later. <laughs> yeah. All right. But for all of us at Not Your Father's Movies and Seriously Pointless Conversations, I'm Vito. I'm Mike. I'm Jesse. I'm Lutney. I'm David. Good night. <laughs>